Consider a thin rod at rest on a horizontal table. An axle attached to the table passes through one end. A force is applied close to the free end of the rod. The point of application of the force is point A. The position of point A is measured with respect to the axle. This is point Q. The torque about point Q, due to the applied force, is given by the vector product of vector R and vector F. The torque due to the force about point Q will cause the rod to rotate counterclockwise, as viewed from above. Because the force is contained in the xy plane, the rod will rotate on the xy plane, about the axis that passes through point Q, where the axle is. The axis of rotation is perpendicular to the plane of rotation, the xy plane, therefore it is along the z axis. The axis of rotation is parallel to the torque. If the force is now applied at the same point A, but in another direction, applying the right-hand rule, vector R, vector product, vector F, results in a torque in a negative z axis. The torque due to the force will cause the rod to rotate clockwise as viewed from above. A counterclockwise rotation is due to a torque along the positive z axis, whereas a clockwise rotation is due to a torque along the negative z axis.